Hey, all you mortal gamers out there, it's time for Dino Gems. Remember, although diamonds are a woman's best friend, Dino Gems can be your best friend. This is a mini for the PlayStation 3. Dino Gems is actually a throwback. If you've ever played the old NES game or Sega Genesis game, Klax, this game reminds me a lot of it. Basically, you have your dinosaur at the bottom, and it's got the tongue of a frog, or some type of chameleon, I guess. It will lick up blocks, and it will spit them back, because obviously, gems blocks are not edible by dinosaurs. So, when they receive those blocks, they kick them back, and your job is to have your dinosaur line up four blocks of the same color. They just have to be touching. They can't be diagonal, but they have to be touching. With that, those four blocks will disappear, clearing it up. If by some chance the blocks hit the bottom of the screen, that is game over. You lose. Sorry. Game over. The game starts out pretty simply. You get about three colors, and they do some really silly things, like let's put 12 blocks next to each other, so all you have to do is pick one up and toss her back. As you get through the later levels, they add bombs, they add power-ups, and they add an additional four colors, so dealing with seven colors can make it quite tricky. They also throw in stones, which stones are gems that just can't be moved. And so no matter how much you want to lick them, you're pretty much screwed right there. As new takes on old pla classic go, this is not a bad game. I mean, it holds its fun factor. I would more be playing this on my PSP than my PlayStation 3 because... Or your Vita, if you have a Vita yet. Because this game is really just one of those on-the-go... I have nothing better to do at the moment, so let's just hit this for a little bit. It is short, it's simple, there's two modes. There is the standard objective mode where you have to clear out so many lines before it is end of the level, or there's endless, which just keeps you going forever and ever. Altogether, this is Dino Gems. It's it's two, three bucks on the PlayStation Network. It's not that big of a game. When asked if I would recommend Dino Gems, I would say, hey, if you're looking for something to fiddle with, it's not a bad game. This game actually does what it should. It'll keep you entertained for a while. It's clacks, it's short and sweet. But if you're looking for something more robust or something with a competition mode, you may want to go for, like, Tetris on the PlayStation Network. Or uh, on your Vita, you may want to look for some other games that will actually support multiplayer, because as a mini, this is only a single-player game. From a moral standpoint, I guess there's nothing I can really say. It is a puzzle game. Puzzle games really don't have much morally based with them that you can say yay or nay to. I mean, I guess, oh my goodness, dinosaurs are back. They must be tampering with genetics. Therefore, guess what? I guess we're going to have to rally against Dino Gems because it's promoting playing God through genetics. Oh, the apocalypse is here. Heaven help us.